Hello guys, how's it going? Happy Thanksgiving, happy Friday. This is, uh, I guess this is the first stream in the new studio. It's a mess, but this is it. There's stuff all over the floors right now. We've been moving, moving a bunch of stuff, but we're getting there. Um, hope you guys had an awesome week. Uh, man, I guess I haven't seen you guys since Monday. Uh, so it's been a very busy week doing two things. Number one, moving a lot of stuff to this new space. Most of it's moved now, except for the last few big things, which is like the studio desks and the cabinets and the flat files, which are deceptively heavy. We're gonna probably have to take out each individual drawer, which is full of stencils, and move each drawer individually. Uh, but we've been pretty lucky uh, with, well, I've been lucky with having an awesome team. Uh, shout out to um, Andy and Nick for doing a lot of the heavy lifting on the moving, and Matt helping me get uh, the studio organized, and Sam also for helping. And Sam made an amazing dinner last night for Thanksgiving, which was dope. So I'm very lucky for that. And then also we've been very lucky with U-Haul parking. So like right now we have a parking space like right outside there on the street, free parking until 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. Then we just have to feed a meter. So we're gonna keep moving tomorrow and I think move the big stuff, the desk, the desks, tables, whatever. We'll do most of it tomorrow. And then Sunday and Monday, I will be painting the old studio, boring old gray and white again which is sad uh, to paint over those floors. But, oh, I see Nick's in the chat, what's up? Um, yeah, so we've been super lucky uh, with the U-Haul and uh, getting everything knocked out. And between tomorrow, I think tomorrow we'll do most of the, the rest of the moving in like one or two loads and then just uh, paint, the new, paint the old studio. Um, Got a bunch of Matthews in the house. Matthew Burke, what's up? Matthew Lee Rosen, uh, Man of the Hour, which is awesome. Um, Matt Costello. So we got the trifecta of Matt's. So that was the number one thing. Um, that was one of two things that I was working on this week. The other thing is this, I don't know if you guys saw, we've started to tease out and tweet some pictures, but Matthew Lee Rosen and I have this amazing collab, Big Mac and Fries, and he made these French fry containers, had the, I don't know if, I don't even know how he made them. Maybe he can say in the chat if he had them custom made or if he like, I don't know, it's awesome. The fries are not included by the way, these are props for some photos, these are gum fries, which are not French fries or actual gum. Although he is making chewable gum now, which is dope. So we have been talking about this collab for a very long time, um, months to be honest. And he's been working, uh, he did so much of the legwork to get everything ready. And the idea was that we would do a series of Mark McGuire cards. We did a few different versions. Um, we have the uh, 87 Rookie, 88 and 89, I think we have two 88s. Let's see here, I'll pull up the full list. We have a bunch of cards and the idea was that he, so he did his magic on the back. So this is a silver, this is an addition of two. This is the 88 uh, record breakers card. Well, he broke the record in 87, but the card came out in 88. And so we have, so on the back of this one, this is a silver one. So the sil fries are like metallic. And we have the bubble gum, number, Rosen, also in silver. He also made, like he put, I think it's like vinyl stickers on the inside of the one touch. So like on the front, I have my name, in the back is his name. So I did card art on the front. This one is also signed in metallic silver. Uh, so it's collab. So that's what we, I uh, have been working on it for a long time, and this week was all doing this and moving. And the reason this was uh, a very involved project is because each 
like each of the cards has its own fry container that it comes with. So this is like um, silver, same color paint as the card. I actually have to sign the back of this one still. But all the uh, all the boxes are signed like this on both sides. So black is kind of the base cards. I'll show you guys a bunch of them. And we have so many cards, it's amazing. All right, here's, here's for example, same record breaker card. This is base. Gum on the back. This is actually number one. I believe this one is an edition of, uh, I th uh, let's see, I'm gonna pull this up. Uh, anyways, um, gum. so there's a ton of these available. They're all at, uh, at my website, but we're launching it tonight. Password protected. Passwords, uh, if you're familiar with Matthew Lee Rosen's work, should be an easy thing to guess, but the password is gum club. So if you go to the link that is in this in the comments, but I will actually put it right here too. Blake.art slash gallery slash collabs. Bam. Pass is gum club. All lowercase, all one word. Uh, okay. So which one? This is the record breaker one. So this one is an edition of 56. And they range from, we have like one of one golds of, I think it's five different cards. And then we have different levels, um, silvers. We have some that are blue, which are actually really cool. This is an edition of eight on the 87 rookie. Blue autograph to match blue on the back. Uh, so there's a bunch of these. And I'm very excited about it. Um, one thing that I have been that we've been talking about, and partially because of the holidays, and partially just because got a lot of stuff going on, yo. Uh, I'm gonna send a handful of these to Mark. Get him to sign some. And the idea is I'm going to let him keep a couple of them and then he'll send a few of them back. Hopefully, I got to ask him how many he will sign. Hopefully he will, I say I hope he signs five. If he signs five, that means that Matthew Lee Rosen could keep one, I could keep one, and then we would have three extras that we could do as inserts for like random people that buy this card. You could, well, this is the gold. I don't know, he could sign the gold, I guess. Uh, or a base or whatever. We just have them sign three or five random cards and we would just insert those as like you would get the chance to have Mark McGuire Auto. So that is our plan. My backup plan is if we don't get the autographs back in time, because we also, I mean, these are all ready to ship and so there would be good holiday gifts. And if I don't get them back as fast as I would like, because I don't really know what Mark's schedule is like over the holidays, I have dual autograph cards that I signed and Mark signed that are on my P2020 cards. So I will do three inserted Mark McGuire autos, no matter what, into, into the orders from all of the Matthew Lee Rosen collab cards. I just don't know. It might end up being on the card itself, on the collab card, or you might get this plus a P2020 card with Mark's auto, which could look nice. Um, but yeah, that's kind of, um, that's what I've been working on this week and it has been awesome. Um, we've been very excited about this for a long time, so I'm super stoked. I think, um, thank you, Matthew. I appreciate it. You, you crushed it, man. This is, um, I mean, you did all the heavy lifting and everything like the cards look so gorgeous. Like I said, like the people, I wish that they could even like. I mean, I think this is so much cooler than the P2020 cases that the cards come in. Like, how dope. It would be cool if we could do fries with all of them, but that'd be a lot of French fries. So the fries are not included, but if you get your own fries, sticks right in there. That <laughs> looks awesome. Um, yeah, it's dope. 
so yeah, I mean, and also like kind of tying in with that and like spending a lot of time on that this week, I didn't spend as much time as I thought I would preparing other stuff to sell. Cause I was thinking about doing like a big black Friday thing with uh, a ton of new art and like bunch of new stuff because I'm moving studios. It'd be great to like downsize. This studio is actually a little smaller, but I decided that I didn't want to take any attention away from this collab, which I think is the most exciting thing that I'm launching in all of like the different stuff that I've got in mind. And so I decided instead of calling it a black Friday sale per se, we're just going to do a holiday sale. And that way it's not just limited to today. Um, so today we're launching the, those cards and those are launched. Um, and I will keep the password there for probably till Monday through the weekend. Uh, I'm going to send an email blast with the password. I will DM some people that I know are Mark McGuire fans just in case they're not watching the stream. I want to give all of you guys, um, friends and family, a chance to get them first. And so in, in with that, the holiday sale is site-wide across my website including these cards are 25 percent off um like i said it's not just black friday it's gonna i will make that go i honestly i'm not exactly sure how long it'll at least go over the weekend so there's no like we gotta figure out what the what the end date is but um my plan is like next week i will continue to release some new stuff and have it like start on sale and then go up to like normal price my goal is to like have people that are expecting or hoping to get art or or like cards or card art in time for christmas uh to be rewarded if they're planning ahead so that it's easy to get it you ship by christmas you guys get a little bit um break on the pricing and then it's like a little bit less chaotic the week before Christmas, not trying to like rush things to get to people. Although I do know that that will still happen. So if you need something rushed last minute, tell me, but it's not going to be on sale anymore. So you're going to pay that price. Um, but that's pretty much, uh, the plan, um, over the weekend, settling in here, painting and cleaning out the other studio, uh, going to be focused on promoting the, these, all these awesome collab cards. I want to show you guys some of these too. Like, he did different color f French fries on that one. This one is a red uh, French fry container. So they're all different variations, which are also different. Um, well, these all happen to be number one because I grabbed one of each. But they're all different edition sizes and different price points. Um, yeah, and I hope. Uh, I know Matthew Lee Rosen is, uh, was here in the chat. I would love to, at some point, maybe in the next week or two, do another interview with him and chat and like talk about this process from both of our sides. Because um, it's interesting for me, like I've done in the past, I've done card art, like I would do big batches of card art, but it wouldn't like, I caught it. Uh, I didn't have to do like specific colors for a giant or a specific batch. I was just kind of like winging it and then some cards would come out cool. Some cards would come out not as cool and I, or some cards wouldn't get a lot of paint on them and then I have to put them aside and work on them later. This was like a very different situation where like I had like this gold one of one is the only one that I got. So I had to like nail it on the front and all of the golds like it was just a different process for me like doing card art in a structured um, edition size way which was interesting and so I think it'd be cool to do a chat with Matthew about my side of that and then also like his side I, I mean I can't imagine doing all of the stencils um, for all these cards I think like I think there's about 200 of them total across like uh, what is it 38 photos so it was 19 19 different variations. So it was like five different cards and then some of the cards had four, some of the cards had five. There was like 19 different color variations. And so that was both for like my splatter painting as well as for his stencil making, which I think is cool. And then, I mean, this was just such a nice touch too, which is awesome. He even sent extra boxes and we didn't even need one yet. And I say yet because 
Well, this one is signed. This is signed in. So this is the yellow one. But um, it's nice that he also sent extra boxes. But yeah, that's. Uh, I think that's pretty much it, guys. Um, it's gonna be a busy weekend, but I'm very excited. Uh, I don't know, if Nick, uh, if you're still on, but I appreciate you very much for all of your help. I can't wait to um, crush the rest of the moving with you tomorrow morning. Uh, what's up, 3B Collection? Uh, Bo, Bandy Cards, Tim, how's it going? Kristen, uh, Irene. Yeah, so that's kind of um, that's the plan. I will. Uh, I'm very excited about these cards. I think that they will make uh, fun holiday gifts. They will. They'll all as long as you order. We should come up with the last time you can order to get it by Christmas. But as long as you order reasonably soon, all of the cards are done. So they're going to ship very soon. Um, so they'll definitely be there for Christmas. And uh, I guess stay tuned. Like next week. It is going to be, man, it's different. Um, so for Mail Monday stuff, I still have my old mailbox in Long Island City. I will continue to check that. There's a UPS store right by this space, which I need to go and set up a new box. So at some point, I will make a new address to send in TTM, Black Autos, uh, or any Mail Monday stuff. But for the time being, you can send stuff to the old address. Just know it will change. And since I'm going to be getting a lot of mail there, but I live here now, I'm not going to pick it up as often. I guess we could just pick it up before Mail Mondays, make a run there. Anyways, I don't really know what Mail Monday is going to be like here in the new space. Uh, Bo Bandy cards. <laughs> I don't. Oh, Bob Andy. Is it Bob Andy? I don't know. Bo Bandy. Bob Andy. Um. Bob and I cards. Oh, Bob and I. <laughs> okay, well, yeah, kind of like Po Box, um, which, if you didn't see, was when I got mail from someone who didn't put the name on it and it just said P.O. Box, but I thought it was someone's name and I said Po Box. Very Bo Bandy ash esque. Um, Anyways, that's it, guys. Um, I appreciate you guys so much. I hope you guys had such a good Thanksgiving. I sadly was not able to go home to see my parents in California. Um, but hopefully I will be able to soon. And I am very grateful that I get to see them all the time and FaceTime them. And they're here on the chats and working with me and everything. So I'm lucky in that sense. And I'm very grateful for all of you guys hanging out with me all year long. And it's crazy that... Um, it's about to be December, and 2020 will be over soon, which will be uh, crazy and good to do a new year. See how that one goes. Anyways, I appreciate you guys. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. Um, if you guys, even if you guys are not a Mark McGuire fan, if you know any Mark McGuire fans, please direct them uh, to the website. You're welcome to give out the password to the homies, to friends. Uh, I will be, like I said, DMing people and um, promoting that. But I'm very excited. I think this is, it's tough to say the coolest collab I've ever done because that one with FDOT was really cool. And Gregory and I have some stuff in the mix. But it is definitely top three. And those are the top three. Um, but anyways, it's awesome. I hope you guys appreciate it. Uh, have a great night. I will see you guys on Monday. Bye. Stay awesome.